Welcome to another PyQ GIS tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about selecting attributes and vector layers. So we're going to, I have my Python console up here. You can open that from plugins, Python console. Um, I'm going to start a new script, but first I'm going to copy this file name here. And we'll paste that into the top. And here, I'm going to load the layer with iFace so the layer appears in my table of contents. And I'll do that with iFace, add vector layer, give it a file name, a layer name which I'll leave blank, and the data provider which is OGR. And then we're going to do something really simple first. We're going to select all the features. So we'll do layer dot select all. And let's just go ahead and run this script. We should get a layer that appears. Uh, and then it should be selected. And I believe the default selection color is yellow. Let's go ahead and click run. There's stream order. And you can see that it came in as yellow. And we can check to see if it's selected by this button here. So this is the uh, clear selection button. So if I go ahead and click this, you can see it changed the color, so it was indeed selected. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the selection color so that we know it's something we chose. So let's do iFace, um, map canvas, set selection color, and we're going to give it a Q color. And we'll just do red. And this will be a bright red. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this layer because it will get added in again. So I want to remove it first. And let's click run. And I have an invalid syntax. Let me just check that. Oh, I forgot a parenthesis here. So let's go ahead and click run one more time. And there we go, there's our layer and it's red. And once again, I can click this and you can see that it was indeed selected. So that's how you can set the selection color if you wanna do that. Okay, let's get rid of that. Now I'll show you one more thing here. Let's go ahead and click run, add this layer back in. You can see that it's selected, it's red. Um, we can deselect it there. We can also come over and type in our console layer remove selection. I'm not doing it here because if I ran the script, uh, you wouldn't see it. It would select it, then it would deselect it. So I'm going to run it over here in the console. And we have it selected already, and I'll hit enter, and you can see that it deselected it there. Okay, so that's how you can remove the selection. Let's go ahead uh, and remove that layer. Now something you may want to do is select features by attributes. So based on attribute values, you may want to select certain features or not. And there's a way we can do that as well. So instead of select all, actually I'm just going to uh, comment this out so it stays in the file here. We'll come up and we'll do layer select by expression. Now you can't see the attributes right on the layer loaded yet, but I have a field named grid underscore code. And this field contains the stream order. And it ranges from one to four, with four being the larger streams. And so I'm going to select all the largest streams. We're going to select everything with a grid code of four. So notice I've started out with a single quote, and then I put grid code in double quotes. I'm going to do equals four, close the single quotes, and close the parentheses. So now when I add this layer, what I should see are those largest streams that are selected and the others aren't. So let's go ahead here and click Run. And it's been added in. And so you can see this main stem stream here is selected, it's red, 
and none of the others are. So I use that expression to select it. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that selection now. And then I'm going to remove this layer. Now, actually, I'm going to run that again so I can show you the attributes. Add that back in. Let's open the attribute table. Okay. And you can see here that I have arc ID, grid code from node to node, uh, and the link. And you can see 33 features are selected. And I can come down here and click show selected features, and you can see those features that are selected there. You have 33 of them. Okay, so I'll go back to show all features. And then the other thing that I may want to do is just select specific features based on their identifier. So maybe I want to select features one, two, and three, but not any other features. And so I'll show you how you can do that next. So I'm just going to remove this first of all. So remove layer. And I'm going to go ahead and comment that out. We'll just get rid of this line here. And I'll drop down. And so we're going to want to select specific feature IDs this time. And so what I'll do is I'll create a list with, it's called select ID. I'm just going to select ID. And I'm just going to give it some values that I think of off the top of my head. So we'll give it those values. And now I can do layer.select and pass it select ID. Now what you may want to do in, in your applications, you may want to um, loop through certain loop through your features and if a certain condition is true or if a, something happens in your loop, then you can append these to the list and then select them at the end. But I'm going to go ahead uh, and just do it this way. It's a little simpler, a little more generalized. So I'll click Run, and we should see features 1, 3, 6, 8, and 11 get selected. Okay, so we run that there. And just get my pan tool out. So you can see, so there are three features selected up there. Maybe there are even more than three. I don't know exactly where these features are. But let's open up the attribute table. And let's go to show selected features. We selected 1, 3, 6, and 11. It looks like this arc ID is kind of the feature ID, um, but it ranges from 1 um, to n instead of from 0 to n minus 1. So this would be feature 6, this would be feature 1, 3, 8, and 11. And so you can see we, we have five features selected, which is what we uh, put into the select ID list here. All right, so I may want to iterate over select the features and I can get the selection with layer dot selection. And from there, I can do for feature in selection and let's go ahead and we'll print out uh, feet and we'll print out the grid underscore code so the stream order of these features that we've selected so we're selecting just these five features so we should have five results we need to close that parenthesis um, that get printed out when we do this like it printed out to the console over here so I'll go ahead and I'll remove the layer. I'm going to slide this down so we can kind of see those when they come up and I'll click run. And we get a problem that says object has no attribute selection. And we are in line nine right here. Let me make sure I did that correctly. Okay, and that's my fault. So this is layer dot selected features, not selection. So let's go ahead and hit run again here, and that should work. And there you go. Now we've printed out the grid code or the stream order 
for the selected features. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you today, just how to work with selecting features um, with the PyQGIS API. Um, as always, if you have any questions, if you have anything you'd like me to address uh, further with Python and QGIS programming, please leave a comment below. I'm, ha I'm happy to get back to you. And if you want the code for this, uh, take a look at my website. I'm uploading the code there, opensourceoptions.com. I'll include the link below. Um, and I'll try and put a card up at the top for you to click on as well. Thank you and have a great day, guys.